Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Trigger PH, and today is Memorial Day. So I hope all of you guys had a very good Memorial Day or Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I know I did. I had a barbecue yesterday at a friend's house, and then I had a barbecue today at my house, and uh, a lot of good food and whatnot. So really good weekend. But uh, a couple days ago, I was playing, and I was getting super unlucky from boss loot drops in the dark zone. But I was getting really lucky from supply drops. That's why I killed over 20 bosses, didn't get one gear set piece except for the, the very last boss that I killed. Honestly, it might have been over 30. I, I don't really remember how many bosses we killed, but it was quite a few. I uh, finally got a sealed cast. But from the supply drops, I was getting some pretty good loot. I picked up this new AUG, which is... Uh, you got 11k damage. Um, it has... Swift and responsive that I'm using and then commanding. I like responsive because I, I try to be somewhat close and, and whatnot. And then swift is good because I mean I get more shots out per second by reloading my gun faster, so I'm able to shoot more per minute and whatnot. But uh, I don't know if I should be using this one. This is where I want you guys to help me out. I got 23.5% critical hit chance with it. I got a base damage of 11k. And then I have these perks on it, swift and responsive, okay? So we'll be looking at that. We're at 222k primary DPS, that's what it says. I know that doesn't mean everything, that's why I'm, I don't really know what to do if I should have these perks or with 11k base damage or let's go to my other AUG, which is going to be in my stash real quick. There it is. It is a 182, but uh, the gear score, I don't really think that matters too much. It's just a number that raises your gear score. So the critical hit chance on this one is 1.5% less, and it has less uh, base damage, less uh, by 0.6k. So instead of 11, we're at 10.4. Instead of 23.5, we're at 22. But um, the perks on it, I got Ferocious. I don't have that one unlocked, but we do have Brutal. And responsive so they both have responsive and uh, but this one has brutal 24% headshot damage when using this weapon I don't know if that 24% headshot damage is worth because uh, when I put this one on with the same attachments and everything the same attachments here I have 214.5 K primary DPS like I said I know that's not everything uh, I mean this all right here I think it has that higher DPS just because of the reloading. But if I'm going in PvP, do I want the where is it? Do I want uh, this one with 11k base damage and just responsive and swift? Because I mean, swift is good in PvP too. Because when I'm killing people and I reload, when I run a run a car or something, or if they're trying to run away, I'm gonna want to finish them off quicker, right? So 13.5% means I just reload quicker, start shooting him again. Or would I slay people more with this one? even though it's less. So that's what I need you guys to help me out on. Um, yeah, I really I really just don't know what to do. And then I also got a new mask. Where is he at? Yeah, this striker's mask right here. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, so it has higher base um, stamina if I were to take off these mods. Yeah, see, our base stamina is at 600 right now. And with this ones, I'm at 614. Should I sacrifice some toughness? I think I would be at like 333,000. I'd still be at 14.7k skill power, but um, I'm getting that 4.5% critical hit chance you see in the major attributes instead of that extra gear mod slot. Because with this one, I have two gear mod slots on it, but with this one, I only have one gear mod slot. But I could take away that 4.5% critical hit chance and I could try and get myself a gear mod slot, which would mean I'm only gaining that plus 14 stamina at the base at the base stamina pretty much. I would only be gaining that 14, which to me it doesn't seem like that much. And I mean my gear score would be higher from a 214 to a 240 if I was using these. Or should I keep it at 1 and have that 4.5% critical hit chance and I would just use... Not that mod. Yeah, I'd be using this mod on it, I believe. Huh? No, I wouldn't be using that mod. I forget. I'd be using this mod. Now put this on. So yeah, I'd be at 333,000. I would just lose some toughness, 
Still same skill power, but I have that 4.5% critical hit chance. So, what do you guys think I should do with the weapons? And then what do you guys think I should do with my mask? You have uh, this one on and try and get that second gear mod slot. Like, I probably wouldn't do that. That's just a waste of money for that plus 14 stamina. Or should I wear uh, this one with these two uh, mods that I have on this one? I would take this one on right there and I will put it on to this guy. So I should, I'm should. i either going to run with this or put that mod on that I just switched and put it on here and have that 4.5% critical hit chance. So for you guys, I'm wondering what you guys think that I should do. Uh, some of you might know the game a little bit better with all of the, like, the stats and stuff. You know, who knows? I, right now, this is what I'm running. I'm going to see how it goes. If, uh, if I do feel like I'm killing people a little bit slower, then I might switch back to the 182 AUG. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and look into my character right now. That way you guys can see everything that I've got going on. I don't know where we're going to go. Trying to find a critical hit chance. So we have a 47.5% critical hit chance. If I put on that other mask, I would be at 51, no, 52% critical hit chance. And then the damage would stay the same. And uh, so I could be at 52% critical hit chance. And then imagine if I put on that AUG with the headshot bonus, I would be at 84% headshot damage, at least with my AUG, because uh, uh, that's with the additional damage dealt with the headshot right there, headshot damage. So what do you guys think I should do? Honestly, I could do that 182 AUG with the 24% headshot damage and then use the mask with the 4.5% headshot damage, just, I mean, headshot, not headshot damage, critical hit chance, and I could just... Uh, try and stack out my critical hit chance and headshot damage and whatnot. So, the only thing you guys think I should do with this video is uh, really just asking you guys what I should do because uh, I'm struggling. I, I don't know what setup is the best because, I mean, 333,000 toughness is pretty good and I'm not sure if I'm going to be... Um, see, I might go under the armor limit. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. If I were to put on this striker mask, what would my armor be at? Yeah, see, my armor, uh, my yeah, that would go down. So I'd have to put on the armor one, and so my skill power would actually be lower. Let's go ahead and uh, test this out real quick so you guys can get a full shindig of what my setup would be. So I'd be wearing this, and then I'll have to put the armor on it. See, what I could do, I could throw on this one. I would have the armor that I needed, I think, and I'd still be at, like, 14 point something. Okay, let's see. my. Oh, yeah, see, my armor's at 75% now. Yeah, I might run like that, because now my skill power is up, and my toughness would be at 328,000. What do you guys think I should do? Uh, yeah, let me know. Hopefully, uh, try and explain it the best you can. This would be my mask setup, I believe. So I can have the armor mitigation. So for the 240 with this setup, or the 214 for the mask, and then what one of my AUGs should I use? If you guys could help me out, that would be awesome. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, I just have no idea what I would be doing. I'm just trying to slay people the best I can. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Like I said, hope all of you had a great Memorial Day and Memorial Day weekend. And I'll catch you guys all later in my next video. Peace out, everybody. Wow, 2,000 Phoenix credits. Nice. All right, peace.